All right, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting a video today on how to install applications on your Nordic Track X22i or 32i or any of them that have an actual uh, console. As you can see, I'm watching the ID channel. My wife loves this channel, so I installed the app for her. Come up. You can see the iFit cardio is running in the background. Sometimes it errors out. Sometimes it doesn't, but because you're running one more than one app at a time, it takes a little longer, <clears throat> and it might have errored out because, once again, um, this Nordic Track Incline Trainer isn't made to run multiple apps at one time. Oh, looks like it's coming up. Here we go. And there we go. So there's your apps. Then come up here, go to here, and I've got the ID channel running in the background. It usually comes up a little bit pixelated, and then once it kicks in and caches, it uh, starts running. So let's go to live TV. And my wife can work out and watch the ID channel. Is it HD? No. It comes in like blurry, I don't know if you could tell, but then once it caches it actually comes in i would say maybe 720p okay. i had a guess okay i mean there it is look it's not bad I was his neighbor, Ken and then you know you can move this up and down depending on how tall you are but you knew that Patrick mentioned and there it is let me come here close that out and come to the desktop as you can tell i have a browser the camera i've got some application cinema hd the clock, downloads, file linked, Fox News, um, that's not for me. I don't like politics. Gallery, ID Go for my wife, iFit Admin, which I haven't figured out yet. If you click it, it just gives you, um, maybe that's what this whole thing is, iFit Ad, I, it could be iFit Admin. It tells you the admin application, um, iFit Launcher, Chromium WebView, Brainboard software system, the IP it's using. So I'm not really sure what this does. I even checked for updates and it doesn't say there's any updates. So come back. The iFit Cardio is the actual iFit app. MX Play is just a, uh, a player. Sometimes uh, uh, the, the player, oh, come back. Sometimes the player that's built into some of these applications that work and MX Player does. Netflix and settings. And once again, as you know, Netflix works perfectly fine. Oh, I guess I have to log in. Let me hit pause for a second. And here we are. I've been meaning to watch Narcos. Or maybe it's Marcos. I'm not really sure. But as you can see, Netflix works perfectly fine. I'm not sure I'm going to be watching something. You know, I've been hearing about uh, Better Call Saul new episodes. But um, season one, I've never seen. Let's see. And as you can tell, it'll start running and I'll move away because I don't want any copyright infringement. And there you go. See that? All right. Let's get that out of the way. MX Player out of the way. Actually, let's go back. And then once again, on the desktop and you got settings, all right? If I close this out, it comes back to my desktop, which I set up as a black hole. I've got Browser, Cinema HD, I've got Netflix, ID Go, and then the iFit Cardio, which is the actual app that this comes with. All right then, so um, I will come back a little bit later and show you how to get your Nordic Track treadmill. If it has a console, I will show you exactly what you have to do so that you can watch um, Netflix, YouTube, or load any APK, load any application that you normally would load on your phone your your Samsung Galaxy phone or your iPhone, whatever phone it is that you normally use, well, those apps are available here. I'll show you how to install them. And this is not, um, some people would say that I'm avoiding the warranty. I'll also show you how to get rid of them and just have your iFit app coming up. But as it turns out, 
it looks like uh, I've never hacked this. It was a feature. I came here and then it came to the desktop and then I noticed if I scroll up, that feature is there. So, go figure. Let's see if I go back and there it is. So, you can be sure I probably won't be downloading any more future app upgrades because I, would, I won't know. I think this was a bug and Nordic Track may have accidentally included it and by including it and then because the very next day they came up with a with an upgrade so uh, I'm a little fearful of doing that upgrade I can show you exactly which uh, version I'm running on if I come here to settings and under settings if I go to equipment info and app info the application that's currently running the app version is 262.6.16.1084 the admin version is 1.4.0.196 and you can see the firmware version the brain board version and the and well the IP is mine here's some release notes and um, the 2616 iFit cardio I guess it fixes some bugs five days ago and then you've got, you've got a new home screen according to this this is four months ago so so something happened I believe uh, once again let me go back so I've got the 2.16 and I do believe something happened with this 2.16 version that allowed this this little feature just scroll up and then you have this you can also scroll down and as you can see uh, it shows let's see if I can show that again it shows uh, let me go one more time sorry there you go it shows like a desktop blue my Bluetooth uh, the clock and my wireless signal and the time so <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you uh, did I hack no, I didn't. <clears throat> Did I install some stuff on on this Android tablet? Because that's what this is. This is a big 22-inch Android tablet. Did I install some stuff? Yes, I did. Does that void the warranty? I don't think so. <clears throat> I just know that if something was wrong and I had to call this in, I would just make sure that I would have this up and running. But I'm going to show you exactly what happens when I boot this up. All right, so let me go ahead and... Power it off, button right there, and then power it back on. <clears throat> so you could see exactly how this boots up. And I guarantee you that this should not void the warranty because I did nothing. <clears throat> the version of the firmware had that option included. Now, what they might do is they might come here, fix if you had a problem with the treadmill, they might fix it and then make sure you have the latest and greatest firmware, which would then take this away. So you took note of the firmware version. Uh, I don't know how I can actually back this up. I went, there's a backup and recovery, but the only option there is to change this back to factory default. But as you can see, it comes up to this, and then I have a pattern that I use in here. Put the pattern in. and then it boots up to my desktop. <clears throat> now, again, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, like, does it automatically go to iFit Cardio? I don't know, because it doesn't look like it automatically goes to iFit Cardio. In the past, it has. So, and as you can see, I have my, my shortcuts on my desktop, and to get a shortcut on the desktop, all you have to do is, um, let's say for instance, I want the clock. I hold it, and then I, I must have not held it. Let me go back. Oh, go back here. All right. I hold it, and then I bring it to the desktop. And it's on my desktop now. I can click it, and there's my clock. I can come in here, I think, and I can put alarms. There's an alarm. I could set my alarms, but this doesn't stay on all the time, so really the alarms are not really useful. I guess this is a timer. This is amazing. I can just say... Go? I don't even know how to work this. Maybe that way. Oh, I guess I can say I want a timer for uh, if 
five minutes, and then hit start. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> All right. And what's that? I guess that allows me to add. I can just hit X there. Uh, just garbage it. I don't need that timer anymore. And then what's this? I guess this is just the timer, the regular timer. That's amazing. Stop. Go back. And these are alarms. And go back to clock. You can even put different times from all over the world. <clears throat> let's say you wanted uh, to know what time it was in, let's see, I don't know, pick one, in Paris. Let's go to Paris. Because why wouldn't I want to know what time it is in Paris? All right, click that. And then what? Go back. And look at that. I know what time it is here and in Paris. <laughs> go figure. I scroll back up. So that's nice. Uh, let's get rid of that because I really don't want that clock. Oh, I have to come here maybe? Nope. Here? Nope. How about there? Nope. How about there? No, I don't even know. Oh, there it is. It, it was uh, here. So let's get rid of Paris. There it is. Where is I just saw Paris. P A. Ah, it could be it's not there because I added it. So it's probably at the top. Let's see. Is it? Yep, there it is. Selected cities, Paris. Let's get rid of it. All right, go back. Oh, did I pick these? <laughs> All right, I'm going to hit pause. All right, I'm back now. All right then, so look for a video later this uh, today or tomorrow on how to install applications on your Nordic Track X22i Incline Trainer. And uh, again, when I spoke to a Nordic Track, um, when I spoke to a Nordic Track rep, he said that it would void the warranty. And I asked, and if I want to get rid of things, you just go to remove, kind of like just like a regular tablet. He said that uh, that doing this would void the warranty. Again, I did not do anything to hack this. All I noticed was when I booted it up, it came up to a desktop. Actually, I'm gonna show you the desktop that it came up to. So if I come to, where's display? Or settings, and then display, and then wallpaper, and then wallpapers, I'll go there. Set the wall, it would set. Okay, go back, close, and this is the wallpaper. When I booted it up, this is what I saw. Obviously, there were no shortcuts, I put those there, but this is what I saw when I booted up. And then I was like, hey, what's this? I clicked here, and this is what I saw. Obviously, it didn't have some of the things that I installed, but it had several apps, like it had the browser, the camera, the clock, the downloads, the gallery, the iFit admin, iFit cardio, and settings. So I just looked, I went to the browser, and I tried looking for stuff. <clears throat> I found it. Uh, let's try that again. I came in here. First thing I did, if you look at any of my videos, was I went to ESPN, and ESPN was here. I messed around a little bit. I said, do I want a desktop site, or do I just want a regular site? And then <clears throat> I went to ESPN, <clears throat> and I tried clicking on a video, which didn't work because I probably should download the ESP app, ESPN app. That probably will give me, and this looks like it's all just videos. So let me come here, go to the desktop site, see if I did that. Yep, desktop site. And then with the desktop site, it gives me the full site as if this was a desktop. And I actually read, I can actually read like Manfred defends Major League Punishment of the Astros, does it work? <clears throat> and I can read the article while I'm, this is great. I could be running, I could be walking, I could be doing whatever I want, I could be reading an article. Now, as you know, the videos don't work from here. See, they actually go a little weird. If it works, I'd be very surprised. Oh, wow. What? <clears throat> is this working? If it works, I'm surprised. Oh, wow, it is. 
Well, this is from the NBA dunk contest yesterday. <clears throat> Let's see if this works. Oh, I guess it does. It wasn't working yesterday. Maybe the desktop version works. As you can see, it's a little pixelated. And it'll be that way until it caches. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Let me hit... Uh, back and then I've got this so it looks like it's still running let me close this so the browser is not the greatest and if you want to know which type of Android uh, version because you'd have to know that when you're installing APKs because some APKs will look for Android version 6 and above the Android version on this is 5.1.1 alright alright then guys I'll come back later I don't want to keep going on and I will um, give you a rundown uh, give me a thumbs up if you think this is cool, and I'll give you a rundown on how I was able to get to the browser, do things like Netflix, install things like for my wife, ID Go, which she loves. Matter of fact, I'll leave this running so that she can watch this and work out if she'd like. <clears throat> and I'll go to live, live TV right there and I've already put in my credentials as you can see it's a little blurry I'm gonna tell you how long it takes for it to kick in with uh, HD so it's been about six seven eight nine but almost ten seconds and I've got files and boom right there so less than ten seconds it comes up all right then she See you guys later. Again, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, and hit the like button, the subscribe, and I'll be coming back to you with a little bit more content on how to utilize your Nordic Track treadmill to the fullest. Bye. Actually, let me get rid of this. This is a terrible. There we go. I'm going to turn this off. See you guys later.